top shot. Posted. Welcome, curious minds, to Visions of Synergy, where the pursuit for knowledge meets the spirit of youth. In today's episode, we have a very special guest, Dr. M. R. K. Menon, who is a STEM expert and also a curator of aerospace museums. We extend a heartfelt welcome to Dr. M. R. K. Menon. I'm a lay him down like he in a lounge. Walk him down, walk him down. What is something that students in high school should do at this age? If they are interested in aerospace and astronomy program. programs. So yes, students must climb out of the textbooks, get out of their classes and do things that are practical in nature. Either by self-experimenting, by learning on your own, learning by doing things like that. Or joining clubs, aeromodeling clubs, drone clubs and that's how you develop your knowledge. As a STEM educator, what are the most rewarding moments that you've had here? I had four days of vacation time actually. My school in Abu Dhabi is celebrating its annual days. So the school is shut down. So I asked him, do you mind if I go to you know, Omar? They said, where? And luckily for me, your principal sir, Mr. Rao, in communication for a long time. So when I came here, the fact that everything is organized, that helps me to pick up my delivery of several launches. And, uh, the feedback that I could get from the students that they were excited that something out of the way is happening. In fact, in all my 15 years of teaching, the experience I had today in Cambridge School was the best. A half an hour program went into one and a half hours and they still did not want me to leave. I also didn't want to leave. The marvel was superb, the building was so nice, the backdrop was so nice. I had all the time in the world and sit for hours and talk and the principal said, go ahead. But that is a rewarding when you find the audience is there, the proper things are there, you know, the proper setup of the room. And this gentleman he has taken so much effort to arrange everything. The students have volunteered to help me with the laptop. And if I had asked for more help, I'm sure more people would have And this would be the icing on the cake. I thought by now I would be for the office of the school, but here I am sitting with you all, enjoying a very. I'm just happy. I mean, you're like my children. I don't look upon you as students, you're my kids. So if you are doing this at this point of time, only better things can await you further down. But it's not easy for everyone to go past everything and achieve that goal. So what's the biggest advice that you would give for someone who has a burning desire in them but cannot achieve it? A very common situation in, in families, parents and all that stuff. I think each case is different. I was, I grew up differently in the different times. You are growing up differently in different times. I had no choices. <laughs> Just simple. Either take maths, physics and chemistry, or you take arts, or you take commerce. Today you can take commerce and computer science. Correct? There are other combinations available. We didn't have all this. And then when you reach college, you have one million choices. You can do fashion technology, just imagine, fashion technology is a subject. You are learning, so many things are there, creative kind of subjects, right? I think that time has changed and most parents, especially educated parents who have left India and they are working in countries like this, you have the freedom of now creating a job for yourself and for them. That's a huge challenge and that is a huge opportunity. You have a route map. This is what I plan to do. These are the checkpoints that I need fifty dollars here, I need hundred dollars here. Here I will start paying for my own tuition. And when I reach my fourth year, I will pay you back all the money you put into my education. If you can talk like that to your father, he will send you to the moon. I would 